so this guy here in the middle that should look pretty uh, familiar to you guys yeah sometimes my brain doesn't work so much simply an Arduino Nano and I uh, thought I'd try to make a little simple Arduino breakout board just for fun so if we look and we start over here on the left side from D2 all the way down to D12 we have LEDs so it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 11 of them and then we have from those LEDs uh, 1K resistors and all of those 1K resistors come up here and they go right there to ground now on the other side I added a couple of these four pin uh, headers here one for an OLED and if you trace it all out it goes to A4 and A5 there so that we have an I squared C OLED and then if you come down here and you find this DHT11 uh, pin number four that's wrong uh oh we're gonna have a problem pin number two is the data pin pin number four is the ground let's change that around here boom boom so yeah uh, pin number two should go to A0 and pin number four goes to ground yep that's the way it goes of course I already ordered these boards so we're gonna have a problem <laughs> we're gonna have to V2 on them anyway so there's our DHT 11 and then I've also added an LED uh, down here just for a, yeah, our, our LED for a pin 13 and then I've taken the remaining analog head uh, analog pins over here and just mapped them out to a couple headers and we've also added a uh, DC barrel jack so Let's take a look at the uh, circuit board. All right, here's our circuit board. And you can see I've lined up all of the LEDs over here with all of the resistors here. We have our input barrel jack here. We have our OLED connector here so that that OLED can sit like this. And then we have our DHT temperature sensor here and we also have over here our breakout header so that should work out pretty cool at least I think so of course I could be wrong I often am wrong so you know what can I say about that alright let's uh, take a look at some of these layers here so let's start with the top layer well, here's what I'll, do. I'll shut off all the other layers And what we're seeing now here is just the top layer, some traces. Then we can add in the bottom layer, and you can see both our top and bottom traces. There's our top silk. Our bottom silk, there's nothing there. Paste. Solder mask. There's our outline. There are our holes. I think it's nice to be able to take through here and look at some of these things. Like for instance, there are just our drill holes for the board. There's nothing else there. And then we can add to it, say, you know, our board outline and our traces. That way you can kind of take a look beforehand and make sure that there are no uh, places that should have traces that don't we don't want anything you know going wrong there 
and then we can add in our silk layers and you can pretty much see everything is there that guy needs rerouted but that's not a big deal we'll take care of that so I sent these boards out on September the 18th I believe now we just have to wait a few days for them to come back well a week has passed and the boards are back and we already know there is one problem with the boards there's actually two that I found and again I would like to say I am not a PC board designer this is just me kind of throwing this stuff out there on my own you know doing this so and you know if you're in a production environment things don't always work out the first time either so that's why we have versions on our boards anyway I've got the uh, Zotec ZTM one meter here and it's just set for continuity and if we look here this uh, pin 4 of the DHT sensor oh you can't see that because of the reflection there that should be better okay pin 4 of the DHT sensor is going down there to A0 when it should in fact be going to ground it does not now up here on my uh, 2.1 millimeter barrel jack 2.21 whatever it is the ground is connected but the voltage in is not so we've got two small problems here and they'll both be corrected in version 2 of the board so I've put together what we've got so far of version 1 here and I'll turn it on so you can see it it's gonna quit after a couple seconds because it doesn't pull enough current for the uh, power bank to keep it going but my idea in doing this is to have a simple board that you guys can put together use it with the DHT 11 sensor and an OLED screen and it will also have a visual vis, vis, visible can't talk a visible bar graph display kind of like you know the old analog VU meter and of course it's got some breakouts here that we can use to activate a relay or whatever now in putting this together I just use female headers for everything because that keeps things nice and neat and removable you don't want to be hard soldering your nano into the board unless, unless this is a permanent application that you want in which case that's fine but you know so that's version one an exercise in failure and frustration I promise version two will be better hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to PCB way for sponsoring the video that's it I'm out peace